Uh, personally, I can attest that what took me to the streets was about family issues. So I was, I'm the firstborn in our family. So when I, I look at the, the environment around the family, I saw my single mother who was suffering, raising me and my other siblings. So as the firstborn, I thought when I am out of the family, maybe she might, I might loosen the burden that she has. So that came into my mind when I was still young. Then I decided to go to the streets so that I may give her some time to, to raise the other. So I, 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 I may be able to take care of myself. But I never knew it was the wrong decision. Or <laughs> so when the sisters came, some, as she's saying, some of them come to the ground right up to where we stay. So when I was, one day when I was just there in the streets, one of the sisters called me. Uh, maybe I, I, was, I was begging on, on the road. So the sister called me, asked what is my name, what am I doing there? So I explained to her. Then she took me to Amani, the place where now I, I was rehabilitated. I was rehabilitated for six months. Then I was taken to class. Before you are taken to the class, maybe if you are out of your home, then they, the, the first thing that they do when you are doing the rehabilitation, you are reunited with your family first. So you go back to your family, your parents, through the roots where you came from, they, they discuss with them, and then they, they solve the matter before you go to the class. So I joined the Amani Primary School in class one, back in 2009. So I, I studied there. Life at Amani, I can attest, is very good, but according to the teachers and the environment, because when you are there, all the, the teachers and the sisters, they understand your background. So they, according to how they handle you, they handle you according to where you come from. So maybe when you, are, you come to school and you are not clean, they give you time, they give you soap, before you get to class, you go and bathe because you have bathrooms. So you go and bathe first, and then you come to join others in this class. So they, they really understand where you come from. So they don't they like discriminate you. So I was, I, I, I was done the same. So as what I'm speaking, I'm speaking on behalf of the others because we go through the same thing that they, they are going through. So the, my story is the same as the others, but I'm just representing them. So I went to Amani at class one. I, did, I went and did my, my KCPE examinations uh, in 2017, where I got 396 marks. And I, I may say it's God's grace. It's not that I'm braggadocious or anything. <laughs> it's by God's grace. So I got 396 marks. I was requested to join near high school. I received my admission letter in Form 1. So I went to Nyeri High School. Now, all of a sudden, I think things changed because now then it's a new environment. I'm used to where they, maybe people understand me. But when I got there, I, I, I realized that the environment here is, is quite different from where I came from. So maybe you might, you might, might uh, reach a point where you, you almost give up because now you, you meet new faces, new people, new, now new students from other backgrounds, unlike mine where I come from. So it's, I, I took upon my duty to adopt and to know how to copy the environment there. So when I went to Form 1, maybe I say, I say everywhere has challenges, but what I went through, <laughs> I think it's, it's also encouraging to the, to the others who are back behind me. So maybe when I remember at a time, at some point when there was parents meeting in the school. So I never knew my mom was sick by then. So I, everyone, every student, came, every, every parent came for the parent meeting. They took, they picked their students, take them to the hall where the meeting was, was held. So I had to wait there in the hall the whole day, but she never showed up because personally I never, I never knew how because I came to learn later that she was sick. So I was left there in class wondering what will I do. Now I picked my books and started studying. So some of the challenges that we face there, maybe, maybe the parent is, even if she's not six, maybe she doesn't have the transport to come or something. So maybe it's upon your, you as a student, you, you recall, recall yourself, ask yourself, what am I here to do, not to, cope, to, to be like others. I would like to thank the sisters of the Precious Blood Convent 
who rescued me and my friends and took me to the center where my life was changed. Most of us in the center are orphans and street children. Your Excellency, we thank you for welcoming us to this famous house, which is famously known in this country. I was praying willingly that one day I could visit this house. May the Lord grant you peace and joy with your family. It's a surprise that eventually he's not here. So I'll just sing the song. Yeah, the chorus is Uhuru Tetea Tutabaki Kwendelea. You repeat after me, yes? Yeah. Uhuru Tetea Tutabaki Kwendelea. Uhuru Tetea Tutabaki Kwendelea. Uhuru Tetea Sikuzote Twendelea. Uhuru kwa mpango ufisadi uliweka kando. Na kwanza kutujenga ndo lifu wakaikuwe mpango. Kenya tu ni moja and forever kukuimbia. Magre tu kwa kale siku hina kusifia. Mta mmejenga na zawadi kutuletea. Hofsali ziko huru na sazote tunaenda. Na shukuru kila jambo na kunelea kukuombea. Uhuru tetea tutabaki kuendelea. Uhuru tetea tutabaki kuendelea. Kwa uzuri na haki jina yako imeenea. Natoa shukurani kwa maana nendelea. Siku zote kupiga dua kututetea na kujenga. Mama Kenya uhuru kwa usalama na waombea. Thank you. A number of women have survived. Even through the, when, when they go through the birth, uh, through giving birth and they deliver well, and the children are okay. I think for me that is a great achievement which I'll live to remember. I've seen women suffering in the slums and that has been solved through them going to the hospital and everything goes on well and free of charge. I think mama needs a clap and a good one. We work with the very same people that you do and children, the musicians who you are about to hear are exactly like you. They have had the same challenges as you, and they have overcome them. And I do hope you get a chance to speak with them, to talk to them about what they do, the instruments they play, so that they may encourage you as well. And the children, well, these are not children, really, but my, my, my youths <laughs> introduce themselves best with song. And so if you'll allow us, we will play two pieces for you. With a smile, cheese. so many cheese. Thank you to old friends and new friends. And you've heard you don't just need to be lawyers. Yeah? Um, I just want to thank you for the love. I'm, I'm just overwhelmed, and I'll be there in, in whichever way I can. <laughs> yeah. So, even though we might be leaving this house, uh, the, work, the work goes on. Yeah? I want to assure you of that. <laughs> 